Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're taking a look at the Freightliner Classic XL version 1.6. Now this is by uh, SCS originally because this one was converted from 18 wheels of steel. Uh, Oleg, Kreutzbaum, Dimitri68 and Oddfellow were the guys that uh, worked together on this one and that's basically the RTM Mods team. So that's pretty funny considering that we've got the Max Superliner that we're trying to compete against this week and this is one that Dewey came up with. Well, it was actually requested and that was by DJ Merlin. Thank you very much for that request, DJ Merlin. So let's have a quick look around the outside. Now, I think this is extremely good quality for a, a conversion, even for any mod really. Look at it, that is awesome. The detail that is put into this truck is very, very good. Right, so let's jump in and take a look at the customized configuration. Now, uh, first of all, the cabin, there's only one cabin to choose from, which is the XL. Then we have the chassis, there's only one, the 6x4. Then we have the gearbox, which, uh, sorry, the engines, not gearbox, the engine. So we've got a choice between Cummins and the Cat with this one. So we've got uh, ISX 12s, C13s and they're ranging from 370, 380 horsepower all the way down. See there's C15s there, uh, there's another C15, ISX 15, 550 horsepower, there's a six, 600, CAT C15 600 with a CERT and there's also the ISX 15 600. There we go. So there's uh, some other, there's some cool engines there. I'm going to start with the actual ISX, the Cummins there, the ISX uh, 15, 600 horsepower. And then we go off to the gearboxes. Now there is a 6 speed, the um, a 10 speed, 13 speed and an 18 speed. Let's put the 18 speed on. Uh, shame there's no Eaton Fuller in here. But anyway, that's not a problem. You probably just don't get that with Freightliner. Uh, now for the interior we have a look there is the classic there's only one interior for this but this one looks very very nice a lot of detail has gone into this as you can see it looks brilliant now uh, there is a couple of jaggedy bits around here but you can't really see them until you get over here on the door there there's a little bit jaggedy but that's fine I mean it's, you don't really look at that part there you do have a look here in the dash and you look at the dash and that looks brilliant. Look at it. Wow. Now we head on over to the paint skins. Now I first have to show you this one here called Flames. Now this one here it looks very very nice indeed. And if we spin it round, it's not just there on the side but it's on the back. And I love how the artist of this has actually gone and put draped the American flag over the eagle's wings. That is brilliant. That is so patriotic for uh, America. It looks brilliant. Um, now, there we're going around the back here and we have a look at the sides and you can see that the flames are on the top of the lights there. That looks unreal. I think that looks brilliant. Now, we have a look at the other colors if you're into the other colors, not that I think you would be, but there's clear white, olive green, velocity red, amber yellow, mystery blue, black star and graphite gray but unfortunately guys for me it's going to be the flames that looks brilliant I love it now we head on over to the accessories we have a look here we start down the bottom with the bull bar now there's anchor points for each of these and unfortunately all you can do is spotlights and a horn there would be nice to have the side lights see you can put these side lights here those side lights there put those down there so if somehow, guys, if you watch this, I'll leg in that. I know you watch some of my video videos, but not all. Um, if you can put those ones there down here to select as an option, that would be great. That would really be good because it would match all the way around the front and the side there, which would make it look really nice. Um, even some other options would be good as well, but uh, unfortunately you, you can only select those and I don't think that they sit, they sit on there nice, but they don't think they look as good as what those would on the side, but uh, that's fine. Now we go on over to here, the second lot of uh, bull bar is the classic bull bar 
And I'll throw a couple of spotlights in there. As you can see, there we go. Voila, look at that. That looks nice. Alright, now uh, heading on up upwards here. Um, we'll have a look at this one here, which is the hood, uh, hood ornament or hood accessory. We've got the goddess, we've got an eagle, and we've got the uh, freightliner pinion. Now, if we zoom in, we have a look. Right, there is... So there's the goddess, there's the eagle, and there's the pinion. I think for this one, I'm going to use the pinion because it is freightliner. So Now, here is the actual hood deflector. And one thing that I thought was interesting that we've seen in the, the Kenworth T908, which is the deflectors here. You can add them on the side, which makes it pretty cool. Um, it would be nice. Now, I know it's a big asking, but if you wanted a painted one or something like that. But personally, I think the chrome looks best of all. Uh, here we have the left mirror and the right mirror. And over here, we have the headlight deflectors. So you can see that there's a little chrome bit there. If I take that off right there, there's a chrome bit that goes in there. That looks pretty cool. I like that. Um, moving right along, we'll go to and do the wheels while we're here. There is, you can use any of the standard ones that are here. But there is also the um, another one that comes with it as well, which is the XL Custom, which I think suits this best of all. They've also gone and added in their custom American tire as well, but all these other tires fit in there as well. See, looks pretty good. So um, I'm going to leave it on that one there because that's what it's meant to have. Now, moving up to here, we have the dash cam, which we'll probably take a look on the inside when we move in there. We'll see that. Over there's the chrome mirrors, which is all you can actually get. I don't know if you'd want to have plastic or paint or anything like that, but the option there would be good. If you wanted it, you could have that option. But Because um, I think with the mods, the best mods, they're all about options. And, and that's what I think make mods really special is those options. Uh, now, custom visor, you can do there. I think that is awesome. That looks so brilliant there, that is, the custom visor. There's the classic visor. There's the custom Ah, oh, custom has won me over straight away. Here we have roof accessories. We've got the light bar. Now, this one here, it's just anchor points on there. So if we go ahead, you can put on any one of these. You can go lights on the top there. So we can go and put spotlights on there. And why not? Let's just put four on there. And then up the back, which is what I like to do, you can go ahead and put on your horns see put your horns on there raw and they are actually sticking out a little bit but you know that's no major deal or what you could do which I just thought about there put the horns on there right there and then you can go ahead and put say beacon lights on the top there say radiant beacon lights so that looks pretty cool um, you've also got an anchor point there to put whatever you'd like on the side there. You can put a, a spotlight if you want. And if you have a look, and this is what's interesting, it's detail that does it for me. See how they've got the spotlight swing to the side? So it's not actually, you don't see a bar going down the side. They've gone been lazy. No, they've gone and put the proper detail in so you can see the spotlight in the side. Very good work, boys. Very good work. Now, uh, the side there is the interior, but you can't see it properly. You can sort of see it, if, maybe if we scooch down there. There we go. You can see it in there, blue interior or the brown interior. I'm going to go blue. Blue interior looks pretty nice. Now, over here, I'm not sure if you can actually select that on the inside. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Now here is the tanks, aluminum tanks. It does have a picture of a side skirt rather than tanks, but anyway, that's doesn't matter. Uh, chrome, or you can just go standard, whatever that is, just aluminum. Uh, I'm going to go chrome on there because I think that looks pretty cool. Now for the wheels heading back down, you can go any one of the standard rims because they all look good, but I'm sticking to the XL Custom. Now for the tires, there's the American Custom, 
the other standard ones you can get, but I'm sticking it on the one it's meant to have. Now, rotating around, there's that wonderful looking eagle. I think that's awesome. Uh, that is pretty much it for all the accessories. There we go, just double checking. Oh, what is that? There we go, I missed something. I do apologize, there's the fenders. Uh, a picture of the fenders would be nice, that would be good. Uh, classic fenders, uh, there's the aluminum fenders, there is plastic, and there is the custom fenders. Ooh, hard to choose, hard to choose. I s really think that the classic fenders do it for me. So there we go. Uh, now over here, there is plastic wings, aluminum wings, or chrome wings. Now I want to have a quick look at the chrome wings here. Look at that. <laughs> Does anyone else pick that up? Along the side here, it looks like it's dented. It looks like somebody's come along when you weren't looking and smack, 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 and dented it all in with a bar or something. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But it still looks very good. I, I like that. Um, I like the chrome on there. Uh, would be nice if it wasn't dented, but anyway, it still looks good. And what do we have there? That is the actual mirrors. Um, I think that is it. Oh no, there's a beacon light on top. I missed the beacon light. But the beacon light is hidden inside the actual truck. So um, that's something I'm actually going to put down as a mistake there. Uh, not sure why that's done that. So the beacon light's hidden inside. I'll leave that there because I want to try that and see if it flashes inside the cab. I think that'll look pretty funny. But there we go, turn the lights on, have a look. That looks pretty damn good to me. I think that looks awesome. And if anything's going to compete against that Mac Superliner, this is it. Because this is right up there. Now having a look on the interior, what do we have? That is the bull bar. There is the uh, Smoker's Delight. A packet of smokes in there if you want a packet of cigarettes in there. You can do so. There's the actual camera, the dash cam. You can take that off or put it on, whichever you'd like. Now here is the, if you have the accessories pack, then this is what you can do. You can go through and add in some extra stuff in there. So uh, the World of Trucks emblem, SCS, uh, whatever you'd like you can put in there. But there's only four going across the top there. Now, if we go up here, you can actually add in uh, fluffy dice or, you know, the tennis balls or disco ball skulls or whatever. Um, I'm going to put the skull in there. I think that looks really cool on there. Now, what's that there? That is, oh, more anchor points. Um, you can put the cup, the dog. So, the cup, the dog, the other dog. There's the pumpkin. There's the hula girl. Yeah, I'm going to put her in. Uh, a book, sunglasses, compass, which you can't see, and somebody's dirty sandwich, and uh, a camera. Uh, sorry, the a phone. Uh, I'm going to put the hula girl in there. Why? Because I like it. I think it's pretty cool. And we'll put the SCS cup in there. Uh, why? Because we love SCS. SCS, you're cool. In my books, anyway. <laughs> um, now, then there you can put the notebook. And I think that is it. You can't put the Esky down there or the cooler, but that's all right. Not a problem. I'm going to take that notebook out. But that is pretty much it, I think. I think, I think, I think. So you can't actually select that other bit over there. Oh, yeah, there's the brown interior or the... There we go. So the blue interior or brown interior, you can select it. And there's the mirrors. But that's pretty much it. Let's confirm this truck. Look at that. That looks something cool. Looks so, so good. Be good if you could uh, change the stacks on there. Change them around. Exhaust. That would be nice. Let's do a trade-in on the last mod. Thank you very much. And we'll have a look. And check this out on the outside. Let's see how long it takes to load. Uh, there we go doing as you can see in the top left hand corner there we're doing 61 frames per second which I think that's maxed out for this game but that looks pretty good pretty cool look at the actual side there you've got the logo the classic Excel logo on the side modeling's very well done look at that sun visor looks awesome the chrome on this is absolutely brilliant it really really is really is brilliant look at that 
Wonderful. There's those dented wings on the back there. Let's jump on the outside there. Have a quick look. What have we got? We've got... There's the classic XL. Um, is the Cummins logo on there? We put Cummins in there, so... No. I thought I saw it before, but maybe I didn't. Or maybe it's there, but it's not there sort of thing. I don't know. But that looks pretty damn good. Look at that detail there. Looks awesome. Now, let's listen for the sounds. These are Kreutzbum sounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is... That's really nice. That is really nice. We'll turn the lights on. Yeah, 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 baby. That's cool. Look at that. Now, see those lights along the side there? Well, I'm pointing to them because uh, I can't do anything else with the pointer. Um, if they were on the front there, I think that would look really, really cool. I really do. So, let's jump in. That's what it sounds like on the inside. Oh, yeah. Hang on, let me reset my camera there. It's gone off to the side. There we go. Look at that. That is really cool. Oh, we can look all the way around. Sort of. Look, look at that. That looks awesome. Now, uh... There's the horn. We got the wipers. Is it set? Yes! It is set properly. Ah, oh, you don't see this enough in mods. They just slap it in there and away they go. There's two settings like it's meant to be in the game. That is awesome. Right, uh, lights. We have the lights on there. Let's take it for a spin. Check the gears. First, third, fifth, seventh. Uh, 17th and 18th there we go that's what we like so fourth gear it is and I'm just listening there that's awesome that really 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 is awesome Okay, that, there we go. Got, hit the spot. On the spot. Right, let's have a look. What other goodies has this got? I'm excited. I'm actually like a kid uh, at Christmas. It's really, really good. I like it. Um, let's change the engine to the cat engine. And that's the same. That's the same. Uh, did they throw anything there? No, they didn't. Anything else? Yes, we have number plates here. We can, uh, let's go put in... Number plate? No. Oh, no, I'm not going to worry about it. That's fine. Um, there we go. What else? Anything else? I think... No, that is it. That is everything. We've had a look at everything. And you can also do the number plates on the inside. That's cool. Uh, no, we would like to confirm order. We want to change the engine. And let's have a look at the paint jobs. Right. There's a template they've got for you to put in there. So it's a Freightliner template, so that's great. You can go and add that in if you want to make your own skins. And custom colors you can put in. So I'll slot that up there, and there you go. There's all your custom colors. But for me, I'm sticking with the flames, guys. That really is awesome, that one. You can change the color. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, you're such a tease, guys. Such a tease. Look at that. Bugger! I got so excited there when I thought you could change the colours. That would have been really cool. You know, have have red on there instead of black or a deep burgundy or, or something like that. But, oh well. Never mind. You know, maybe in an update they'll do that. Anyway, it's still good. I like it. It's still good. Now, let's jump outside and listen for the actual cat engine. There we go. Awesome. That is brilliant. Oh, love it. Right, let's take it for a spin. Ah, there's the eagle on the back there. We can get a good de get look good look there. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Um, I accidentally pushed the wrong button there, so that's why I ended up going out there. <laughs> right.
There we go. Listen to that. There's the Jake. Oh, Got to admit, Kreutzbum's the best at this, at these sounds. He really is. Nobody does sounds better than him. Ah. Oh. Let's take this for a spin around here. Listen to that. That is just so nice. There's the Jake banana break. Remember, guys, we're calling it the banana break. We're not calling it the Jake anymore. <laughs> alright, I'm going to do something that Kreutzbum tells me to do all the time, and that's over-rev the truck, alright? Listen to that. That is so good. That that's that's like that's heaven that is. It really really is good, guys. I think that we have found a legit competitor for the Mac the, the Mac Superliner. We really have. And to top it off, this one's free. So, um, probably uh, RTA Mods is going to get upset at me for rally, you know, driving this one against it, but um, I tell you what, this is really, really good. It really is. Listen to that. But guys, it's not up to me to, um, you know, to have the, the truck in the weekly drive. It is up to you. If you would like to see this truck in the weekly drive, then you know what to do. Head on down to the comments section below and put yes for, a uh, yes, I'd like to see this in the weekly drive or no for no I would not like to see this in the weekly drive it's up to you guys so get down there and vote and if you haven't voted yet for any of the trucks I suggest you do there's three that we had a look at this week and make your choice guys because your choice it's up to you your vote counts and it's up to you which one goes in the weekly drive so make sure your vote counts guys wow this is fun it really is a lot of fun to drive this I think this is one that I might have to actually suggest for the um, starting from scratch series, guys, because it's pretty damn good. Um, so that's pretty much it for me, guys. I'm going to go have some more fun with this. This is great. Um, look, uh, that's if you like this video, then don't forget to share. Give us a thumbs up as well. It's uh, really important that you um, you know share and, and, and approve of these videos because. The, the thumbs up is what I gauge what you guys like, okay? So that's really important to me. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Look, keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 10-10 on the side. And remember, game on! Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here, we take a look at what we did this weekend in the Weekly Convoy. Just down there, we take a look at the Scruffy Report, where Scruffy interviews me for Movember. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. If you like this video, then don't forget to share. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers, and remember, game on!